Hi everyone, Chris here from TechTablets.com. I have in front of me the Honda V919A3G. It's finally arrived. There were a few delays in receiving this. Uh, there was no stock on AliExpress and I finally managed to get hold of the 32 gigabyte version off geekbuying.com. So thanks to them I have this here now in my hands to do a quick unboxing for you. And I'll just get into the tablet. Now this is a dual boot Android and Windows 8.1 tablet. Very similar to the Teclast X98 Air 3G. It's good to see it's well packaged up. Okay. So there is the box, 9.7 inch screen, which is the 4x3 ratio. It is essentially an iPad Air screen, the same panel manufactured by LG. And if we have a look here on the back, we have the specifications. This has uh, an Atom Z3736F. So that has the uh, turbo speed of 2.16 gigahertz, which is the same that is in the Teclast 698 Air 3G. I will be comparing those two tablets. And you can see everything else there is just saying that it's Android 4.4, Windows 8.1, uh, and the screen resolution there, the retina display. Okay, so we'll just get into this. Seal is already being broken on it. That is normal because they've probably changed it over to English for me from the original Chinese default language setup. So we have in the box here the the tablet. And we have the power brick there which uh, I think is 2 amps have a USB cable, micro USB cable there that's for charging and uh, very, various other certificates here all in Chinese so nothing there, what's under here nothing, there should be an an adapter Not. So no, no power adapter and no micro USB to USB adapter for some reason it was included. So just the tablet there. So I'll get this out of the way. Okay, so here is the tablet. See on the bottom we have two speaker grills micro USB port on the right side the camera will focus there we go, we have a microphone, volume, rocker, up and down, power on on the top here is where we have the SIM card remove this so here we have a SIM card slot and a micro SD card slot and on the back of this is actually the aerial here you can see there are two aerials here one will be for GPS and the other for wireless sorry for 3G 3G and wireless there is no HDMI out port so that just clips in we have the stereo headset jack there Camera's having a bit of trouble focusing. And the back of the device, Honda, Honda logo. You can see here, 32 gigabytes. And on the left side there is nothing whatsoever. So 
so there is nothing on the left side. Okay, so I will power this up. And the actually the lights up here. Well, a nice blue light there if you can see. And I'm not sure if that works as a captive home button or not. Okay, so let's have a look and desktop. There should be an option here for me to switch to Android, which there is. This is what makes this tablet a little bit special, is we're supposed to be able to switch without actually doing a full reboot. Uh, we can see here that there is the little Android guy there. And this is Windows. That's interesting, flicking down, but then it's... Oh, we've got my fingers there. That was the problem. So, it does actually work. This is a Windows button. You can see there when I'm touching that. So that works as a Windows button, and hopefully that will work as a home button with an Android as well, which I'll find out shortly. So I'll just have a quick look at the specs. So we can see there, if the camera will focus, that it's uh, a Honda V919 Air, uh, 3G Air Dual OS. All the stats there as well. Two gigabytes of RAM, and I'll have some more hands-on videos up and coming of this tablet. So please do subscribe to my channel, and I will compare this tablet to the uh, T-Class X98 Air 3G. Okay, so without ado, let's go and try Android here. So I get the camera set up. Let's go in. Just push here the Android button and let's see what happens. Okay, it's interesting, so it's come up with a menu here. Going to switch to another OS. And let's see how long this takes to boot into Android. So I will not pause this video, we'll keep it running so you know exactly how long it takes. Oh, I forgot to mention the cameras. We have a 2 megapixel front facing camera here and on the rear there is a 5 megapixel camera. Okay, there we go. We're in Android. And you can have a look there, there's the Android ROM. It does seem to be... Actually, there's not a lot of apps here, that's quite good. Let's have a look at the settings. About the tablet. Okay, so we can see Android 4.4.4. .4. And I'm a little bit worried about actually running system updates. I heard from one user that they updated it and they lost Windows. I will connect up to my wireless later on and find out if that's the case. If I do have any problems with that. I also just want to test here to see if this it does work. That's good. So that captive home button there. If you see that lights up when I touch it, so that does actually work. And both Windows and Android, that's quite nice. And I'll get the screen covers and everything off this shortly. Look for some more up and coming videos. I will have some more hands on, try some games on both Windows and Android, comparing it also to the TechLast X98 Air 3G. And this is just a quick Unboxing and hands-on of the the Honda, and I got this from geekbuying.com. So thanks to them for having stock, so I could finally get my hands on this tablet. So please, if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up and do subscribe. I will have more up-and-coming videos of this tablet. Thanks for watching.